Sisters Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make eclairs. We've done cream puffs before and it's basically the same type of dough, only a different shape and then um, with pastry cream. So let me take you over the ingredients and then we'll get started. It's really simple and easy. First you need uh, a batch of pastry cream. Make sure you get the recipe off of my website and there's a video as well on this channel. It's really simple to make. You need some all-purpose flour, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of sugar, some unsalted butter, some whole eggs, and then you need some water in the saucepan. And then for the chocolate sauce that we're going to dip them in, uh, we need some semi-sweet chocolate and heavy cream. So I'm going to begin by combining my water, my butter, and salt and sugar in the saucepan. And once it comes to a boil and the um, butter starts to melt, we're just going to add the flour in. So I'm just going to wait for that to happen. It's just going to happen really quickly. Okay, so once the mixture comes to a boil, just like this, and the butter and sugar and everything is all combined, we're just going to reduce the heat a little bit and add all of the flour. And I'm just going to mix and it's going to all come together and form a nice dough. Well, we're going to cook this for just a few minutes until it all comes together and kind of coats the bottom of the pan. I'm going to raise the heat a little bit on here. And we're cooking this so that way the raw flour taste sort of, you know, goes away and it gets a nice nutty flavor. That's it. Once the dough comes together and it starts to coat the bottom of, the, of your pan, you want to remove it from the heat and move on to the next step. All right, so I'm going to put this in my bowl right here because my pan is so hot that if I was to start adding eggs to this right away, they might scramble and you definitely don't want that. You want a nice, smooth, silky dough. Before we start incorporating our eggs in here, one at a time, I'm just going to run the mixer over here so it can kind of release some of the steam and cool the dough just a little bit. That should be good enough. Now you want to make sure you preheat your oven to 400 degrees because this dough is just going to come together in just a couple of more minutes. And you want to make sure your oven is hot so you're not waiting for it to warm up. And now I'm going to add these eggs one at a time while I'm mixing. And it's going to look a little lumpy and curdly at first, but then it's going to come together and it's going to be silky and smooth and it's going to just be a beautiful dough. <laughs> Okay, so once all the dough is nice and smooth like this, it's ready. That's it. It's that simple. Now I'm just going to get my spatula and just mix this all up. And then we're ready to pipe it in the bag and form our eclairs. All right, so I have my, uh, lined, my parchment paper lined baking sheets ready to go. And this dough right here is completely ready. You see, it literally took like 10 minutes from start to finish. It's that easy to make. And in French, you call this a pâté choux. I think that's how you pronounce it, but um, I could be wrong. Anyway, you use this dough to make profiteroles, cream puffs, eclairs, and it's just that this simple to make with just some basic, basic ingredients. And it's also really simple also to bake. We're just going to bake this at 400 once we form them for just 15 minutes, and then we're just going to reduce the temperature to 350 and bake for another 30 to 35 minutes until they're like puffy and dry and hollow and golden on the outside. And then we're going to fill them with pastry cream and dip them in chocolate and they're just going to be delicious. So this should make about 12 large size eclairs, just like the ones you'd get at a fancy bakery like ours. If you're ever in Spring, Texas, come and visit us at your bakery. So now I'm putting this in my pastry bag that is fitted with just a round tip. Any the biggest round, round tip that you can find will work perfect. And now you just want to pipe these out while the mixture is warm. Don't wait until this mixture cools down to start doing this. You want to work really fast. This is something like once you start, you want to pipe them out and put them in the oven so that way you get the perfect, most beautiful eclairs. So now we're going to pipe them. We're going to make long. They look like sticks and they're going to puff up and they're going to be beautiful. So once your eclairs are formed, and I made some skinny ones and some fatter ones, you can make these any size you want. You can make these little minis, mini eclairs also. It just depends on how big or how many people you want to serve these to. That all depends on how much these make. But I have about, let's see, I have 12. 
This made about 23 eclairs. You want to make sure you have a wet, a, um, not a wet, a bowl of water because you want to smooth out any points that you've made on the eclairs so that way they cook evenly and they don't burn. You could even do this with a brush if you wanted. If you have a pastry brush, just brush them with water on top to kind of smooth them out. So my oven has preheated to 400 degrees and like I said, I'm going to put these in there. I'm going to put them one by one in the middle rack. I don't like to cook them both at the same time. I like to put them both in the oven at the same time because the bottom of the oven will cook at a slower time. It'll, it's not going to be as warm and um, so I'm going to put them one at a time in the middle rack. So each tray is going to cook at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and then I'm going to reduce the temperature without opening the door and allow, allow them to cook for another 30-35 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown and hollow on the inside and then I'll show you what they look like when they're ready. Alright, so while the eclairs are baking in the oven, you want to make your uh, chocolate sauce and it's basically a chocolate ganache. So I'm just bringing heavy cream uh, to a boil and then once it boils, we're just going to add it to our chocolate right here, our semi-sweet chocolate and let it melt and it's going to make a silky, beautiful uh, coating for our eclairs. Okay, so the cream is ready. Once it gets really nice and hot and comes to a boil, you want to add it to your chocolate. And just let it sit there for like two minutes to soften and melt the chocolate chips. And then after about two minutes, I'm just going to whisk it until it's nice and smooth and silky. And just like that, in just a few minutes, you have a beautiful, silky chocolate ganache that's perfect for melting your eclairs in. And uh, you, the thing about this is when you make it, you just want to allow it to sit for about an hour so it can thicken and really like coat the top of the eclair really nicely and then it won't really slide off. It'll just make a beautiful shiny topping for the eclair and you'll see what I'm talking about once we dip them in. Right now it's too thin. If we were to dip them in, it would just slide off. So just leave it aside while they're baking in the oven and then they come out and they cool. It'll be just perfect the perfect consistency. I'm just going to leave it on the side and then we'll move on to the next step as soon as the eclairs come out of the oven. Alright, so my eclairs have, are done baking. Actually the puffs are not eclairs yet because they're not done being filled and, and uh, dipped in chocolate. When they come out of the oven, my first batch already came out and I cut the tops off. But let me show you how you do it while they're hot so that way the steam could escape. You cut the top off a little less than half and you could either go all the way or just open it up enough so that way you can just put the cream in and then dip it in the chocolate like that and it'll be nice and hollow inside and set them aside to cool for like 15 minutes until they're nice and cool because you definitely don't want to pipe pastry cream in a hot uncooled um, cream puff shell Otherwise, you'll just have a, a big mess in your hand. The cream is going to melt and nothing's going to stay in place. And that's not what you want after, you know, you went through all the trouble to make these. So I'm going to continue to slice these open and let them cool and then we're going to fill them. All right, so you want to take your pastry cream that's already been made and cooled and everything and it's nice and thick. And you want to put it in um, a pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, it's okay. Just use a... Uh, resealable plastic bag and just snip the end off, that's fine. I like using a pastry bag and I especially like putting a star tip at the end of it. It just makes a nice decorative um, look to the cream and it's really pretty. That's what we use at the restaurant, at the bakery, and it looks so nice once you fill um, Napoleons or these uh, eclairs with um, the star tip. I'm going to show you what, it, what I mean by that. So you take one of the bottoms and then you pipe the pastry cream in like that. You see how pretty that looks? What a nice design it makes. And then you can take the top and dip it in the chocolate ganache that has been sitting for about an hour. And then you put it on top like that. Now if you haven't cut them completely, uh, cut the tops completely off and you've sort of left them on like this, sort of like a little sandwich. You can go ahead and pipe your pastry cream in and be generous you guys. The pastry cream is one of the best parts of this. And then take your chocolate, I mean then you dip it in your chocolate just like that. And I'm going to continue filling these and dipping these 
do whichever way you like, slice the top off or do it halfway, whichever way, just make them. They're so delicious. I'm gonna continue to do this and then I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. All right, so here they are, my eclairs. And remember, I've made a double batch of these. So when you go on my website, if you don't need to make this many, it'll just be um, half a batch of this, the recipe that I have up there, because I know not everybody needs to make this many all at once. Look how beautiful they are. Look how nice the chocolate has set on top of there. I could have let the chocolate sit a little bit longer, like 15, 20 more minutes. It would have set a little prettier, but it's okay. That's the best part of making them homemade. <clears throat> they look beautiful just the way they are and I'll show you what they look like on the inside I'll take the smallest one and take a bite out of it first of all look at how pretty that is this is like a gourmet French version of like a Boston cream donut which is my favorite donut by the way get the recipe on www.demetriusdishes.com make them serve them to your friends give them as gifts and everybody's gonna love you for it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.